Hi, this is a vlog evening and um, tonight I'm going to be talking about things that I'm up to and things that have made me happy in the last couple of weeks and uh, I hope you're all well and happy as well and uh, to begin with I have um, a new thing that I'm in love with and it's not makeup it's my new headphones and here they are Oh, I love these. As you can see, they're a brilliant purple colour and they have a sort of retro plastic 1950s finish. And the sound quality is incredible. They're really good. And I think they look pretty good as well. So I'm really happy with these. And uh, they come in lots of different colours in red, blue, pink um, and uh, gold and it just makes such a change to those kind of boring black silvery headphones so these cheer me up and I kept losing my my Apple iPhones you know these ones the ones that look like these these just disappear they just get left around the house and they get tangled up in my power plug which is here look they look just the same as my power plug so I do not like these white ones and so I bought these as well because I didn't think I'd lose them they're so they're quite large but they do fit into my handbag and I can't lose them so oh I'm loving these more than any makeup that I've bought this week uh, I bought something from Benefit and it was just a real drag. So sometimes um, when makeup's awful, it's just such a disappointment and I'm so much happier with my headphones. So uh, anyway, what else shall I show you? Um, I'm going to show you my piano because that makes me happy. Sorry, I'll just put my power plug on. Yeah, my grand piano. So here it is. It's a Yamaha and it's about six foot in size and I bought it about eight years ago. This is my piano and this is the back of it. Oops. That's it. So it starts there. It's the back and there are some microphones because I've been recording this week or last week some film music and here's some of my music oh, in piles and sometimes it gets really messy with all the piles of music and here's my piano the keys that's the keyboard so yeah it was quite hard to get it in my home they had to take the legs apart because it was so big it's in three pedals at the bottom yeah, it was such a big piano, they took the legs off and then screwed the legs back in like uh, like you would if you were trying to get a big table into a room. So, uh, but my main thing is, is music and I've started a new YouTube channel called Knitted Records and um, that's really a channel just dedicated to uh, contemporary improvised and experimental uh, music and that's sort of like freestyle jazz, avant-garde freestyle jazz and free improvisation as well as sort of a bit more poppy, a little bit of pop but it's not, there's no real pop music on there so uh, uh, yeah, if you'd like to check out that channel um, that would be uh, great. You may not have heard um, freestyle jazz and uh, improvised music before, um, but that's the kind of music that I, I really love and that I perform a lot of. And I'm not really so much into pop music. And, um, yeah. Actually, I'll explain why I'm not into pop music in a sec. But the reason why I started knick Knitted... I was going to say knickered, <laughs> knickered, knickers, knitted records is because um, I've just released uh, an album that I made a few years ago on iTunes and this is the album 
Now, even if one didn't like the music on this album, I think this is a lovely front cover. I love this front cover. Actually, I'd buy this album just because of the front cover, but I, I recorded this a few years ago with my friend Steve Beresford, who's also a, an improviser. And this album is called Ointment. Steve thought of the name. It's kind of cute because each track is named after an ointment. So maybe this is sort of related to makeup, but the first track is called Gel. The second track is called Lotion. There are the track listings. Actually, you can see them on the screen. The third one is called Serum. Then there's Ointment, Balm, Lineament. I think Lineament is an old-fashioned kind of ointment of some sort. And then there's Embrocation. And Demulcent, Serrate, and Chrism. So, yeah. So that's Ointment, the album. And, uh, yeah. And... Why do I not like playing pop music? Okay, uh, I have worked in pop music and I really like composing and I compose by kind of improvising freely on the piano, making up tunes and then writing it down. But I only like composing pop music. I don't like performing pop music and that's because once you, perf once you write pop music, it's very set and every time you have to perform it again, so often, and I would say this is the case in probably 99.5% of bands, you have to play things in exactly the same way every single time you play. Uh, and I find personally, uh, as a musician and I would I'd say as a creative artist, I find it very difficult to play in the same way all the time. It gets really boring. One of my friends is um, a pop singer and she does gigs around London, and she has this little band, and she just rehearses and rehearses and rehearses, and people either play at the right time or don't. And if a guitarist or a drummer doesn't come in at the right time, it's wrong. So actually, it's, it's so much more structured than even classical music, and I find it very limiting. I mean, if you think about it, bands like the Rolling Stones, you know, when they go on tour um, now, they, they play exactly the same songs as they did um, 40 years ago. And all the, the audience are sort of expecting exactly the same thing, exactly the same tunes, exactly the same bass lines as they played 40 years ago, which I just couldn't do. You know, I, I think that I, I like the idea of being able to do something while I'm performing. So I can't do, I, I, I can't really get into to pop music. I don't mind listening to pop music, but uh, I, I prefer to perform contemporary and experimental music. So, um, uh, what else have I got to say? Yeah, I've been writing a book in the British Library, and that's where I come from this evening. It's open till 8 o'clock in the evening tonight, and... Um, it's great. I can listen to, um, it's a bit like a playground for me. I can go to the National Sound Archives and listen to um, uh, things like radio programs that were made 10 years ago. And they are apparently um, the, the main international uh, archive for all the books in the world that have been printed. So I do love it there. And uh, yeah, in my blog, which is Again, there are details on the side panel about my blog. I have got photos of the British Library, and it's an incredible space architecturally. So it's a bit like a hotel um, for researchers. And so, yeah, do fancy it. And anyway, I guess uh, my time is, is up now. I've got 30 seconds. Uh, what else am I loving? Gossip Girl, Chuck Bass, I love you, and Blair Waldorf. I love your outfits, I want your outfits, and I wouldn't mind your lifestyle. And, uh, yeah, Gossip Girl. I'm thinking maybe it would be nice to do some Gossip Girl makeup tutorials. So, hmm, I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving, and my mother-in-law is from New York, so we had a, a Thanksgiving dinner even though we were in London, and we ate turkey and had pumpkin pie all day, and that's what I had for lunch and dinner, because we had so much leftovers that I continued eating pumpkin pie 
for dinner. So hope you're all well and happy and uh, have fun checking out my blog and videos and so on. Take care now.